Welcome to this week's journalism.co.uk screencast. My name is Alistair Reid and this week we'll be looking at visualisation tool Mattermap. Now Mattermap is a free tool created by a pair of Dutch journalists for visualising ideas and debates around an issue. Around a month ago we hosted a live Q&A here at journalism.co.uk giving career advice for aspiring journalists and to round up all the good advice that was shared I created this roundup with a Mattermap here. Let's just zoom out to the bigger version. Um, so there's a lot to take in, but let's zoom back in. Essentially, you create the matter map around a central idea, basically a headline, and then have subheadings and related topics to explore. You can then attach quotes to those subheadings, as we've done here. If you look at the three ways we told this story, we've got the live blog hosted by journalism.co.uk editor Rachel Bartlett, with Alison Gale from Trinity Mirror, Daniel Morrissey from the BBC, and journalism.co.uk managing director John Thompson, all answering questions. Um, the actual Q&A was done live. Rachel moderated uh, the submitted questions while Alison, Daniel and John answered when they could. Although many people followed live, this doesn't make the easiest reading experience afterwards. So I wrote it up in text, but again, this monstrous stream of text could be represented differently. So we did the matter map here. Let's look at how to make it then. Go to mattermap.nl and create an account, choosing between English and Dutch for the site language. Um, after giving your name and email address, you'll be sent a password, but I've done all that already, so I want to go to My Matter Maps in the top right here and hit plus. Add the title at the top, so Career Advice for Aspiring Journalists. Um, and then you get into the Matter Map itself. For us, the central question is the title, although it doesn't have to be, and now you can start to build out the rest of the map. So the first thing I did was to put the questions posed in the Q&A as the first part of the map. Let's go back to the Q&A itself, which is my main resource for this matter map, and find a good question to start things off. Um, this one looks good, so I'm going to grab that and copy it in, although for other topics it's obviously going to be different. And now you want to add the quote, so click on the plus sign in New Quotes and you're taken to this box, where you can add the quote and properly attribute it. Let's go one step at a time though. So find a quote you want to use um, and then add it to the box. You then have to properly attribute it, of course, just as with a normal written article. Uh, this one was Alison Gao, who is editor of the digital content innovation team at Trinity Mirror, so let's add her name in. You should then properly attribute the quote by adding a relevant link where there is one, or the name of the publication or website or author as the source. Uh, if the information is available, you should also add the publication date and quote date. So for us, that was 11.04.2014. Um, you will see on the front end that this then lets the reader or viewer visit the page where the original quote came from. And you can add tags as well if you like. You can then add a picture. Cleverly, Mattermap uses the information you added about the person here to scan through Twitter profiles for the closest match, which gives us Alison's smiley face to add in with ease. And then we save. Um, saved quotes always go in the sidebar here, and you can drag and drop onto whichever subhead you want it for. Let's do one more, though. So this time, let's get John's quote and add all his information in with the link and the date. Now, because not everyone has a clear photo on Twitter, we're going to need to upload one here, but it's a simple process. There we go. Now, remember, you must make sure you have the rights to use the image, which thankfully I do. Save the quote and then drag and drop it into the matter map again. Now, the software will position the quote automatically depending on how many are attached to the subhead and where it is positioned around the main headline. And you can stretch the link to the subhead out to make space for more, as I did on the finished version here. The quotes are limited to six lines on the finished version, so to not take up too much space, but they are easily expandable. Keep going through that process until you've added everything you want to, and then you can publish it, choosing a category in the Mattermap site itself, and again adding tags. Um, if you want, you can allow other users to copy and use your creation, and then you can publish and share with the embed code and adjustable size. 
The reason we used Matamap here is the chronology of the quotes and the questions didn't really matter as long as they were grouped together. Uh, so we don't need to tell the story in a linear way necessarily. So Matamap basically gives a more visual representation of a topical debate that is easier to navigate than a straight text piece. But the important thing to remember, as with any visualization tool, is to use it when this is the most appropriate way to tell a story, rather than just using it for the sake of it. That's it for this week's journalism.co.uk screencast. Hope you found it useful and don't forget to check back next week for another video guide for journalists.